Zor Spas Awaravash, Judge. It is good to see you again, my friend. There was a meeting in Baghdad on Sunday, and this meeting included representatives from international oil companies and the Kurdistan Region Government, Ministry of Natural Resources, and the Ministry of Oil in Baghdad. Apicure has been calling for this type of meeting. We have requested this meeting for many months. When you were introducing this new segment, you explained that now more than $17 billion has been lost to the people of Iraq and the oil companies, and this is not a good situation. During the meeting, we expected that the Ministry of Oil would be ready to discuss solutions to restore exports through the pipeline. But our view is that this meeting will be the first of more meetings and that there is a long way to go until we have agreements to resume the exports of oil. Well, that's right. And it, the, the production and export of oil is a serious business endeavor. And when we have these kind of talks with all three parties, these talks need to have preparation and a good agenda. There needs to be an outline for the outcomes for what sh we, there needs to be an agenda for what should happen at the meeting. So right now, we feel like the meeting might have been a photo opportunity. You understand this was a meeting where you had a very nice room and our host at the Ministry of Oil uh, gave the presentation that there would be solutions at the meeting, but we do not have solutions yet. So. Now we are looking for the Ministry of Oil in Baghdad to have another meeting. And at the next meeting, we want to have serious discussions about potential modifications to contracts. Yeah, you bring up an important point. And let me explain. First, I am the spokesman for the industry, for the Association of the Petroleum industry of Kurdistan region. Every individual international oil company has contracts with the KRG's Ministry of Natural Resources. So each company will make their own decision on what to do with their contracts. But as an industry, we expect that these discussions in Baghdad will be a forum that there should be an opportunity to talk about solutions. We have informed that the international oil companies have informed the Ministry of Natural Resources and also the Ministry of Oil in Baghdad that we will consider, we will examine changes to contracts in order to restore the export of oil. Well, as you know, there's politics involved in everything. And I think the leaders in Baghdad uh, do not treat the people of Kurdistan region with the same respect as other Iraqi citizens. And unfortunately, there are forces, there are, there are uh, influential people in Baghdad who, who do think it is okay for the people of Kurdistan region to suffer with no jobs and to suffer with a weak economy. The international oil companies that are members of Apicure are focused on having a strong economy in Kurdistan region and having a strong sector of employment. And we know that there are employees who have been laid off and that they are, some of the families are hurting. And we are trying to do everything possible to have solutions with Baghdad 
and uh, keep the same financial terms, the same sort of financial arrangements, uh, regardless of if the, the contracts are, are coordinated with or Baghdad. Right now, the companies are continuing local sales to local refi oil refineries in Kurdistan region, uh, but we want to have the exports resume because that is most important for a strong economy. And we need Baghdad and the Ministry of Oil to have another meeting that will be a serious discussion where they can talk about the details of new agreements.